I'm Dr. Orion Taraban, and this is PsychHacks, Better Living Through Psychology. And the topic of today's short talk is, Insight is Overrated. So this might sound strange coming from a therapist, but this is a lesson that I actually learned during my years as a psychological intern. During that time, I spent two years at an outpatient drug and alcohol treatment program. And it was within this context that I understood that insight into a problem, that is, why it exists and how it operates, is not actually sufficient or necessary to solve the problem. Insight is, in a word, overrated. Now, before I back this up, please remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It takes less than a second, costs you nothing, and it's how you can support me in my mission to deliver free, high-quality content to the world. So, thank you for your help. Now, in my time, I've worked with some highly insightful, but inveterate drinkers. Our program was not their first rodeo. Many had been to several other over the course of their lives. And when I sat down with these folks and asked them why they drank, they would tell me, well, my father and my maternal grandfather were both alcoholics, so there's the genetic component. And I grew up in this dysfunctional family system where my role was the golden child. Because of that, I had this enormous pressure put on me to achieve. And when I failed, I felt shame. So I used alcohol as a way to numb my shame rather than process my emotions because I did not have sufficient modeling for that behavior. I also now understand that I had an oral fixation, likely because my mother didn't breastfeed me, and I was using the bottle as a substitute for the nipple, and on and on and on and on about all kinds of stuff. They also understood why they would relapse. They could do this really specific in-depth chain analysis like, oh, well, I saw this commercial about retirement homes, which made me think about my father, who would always have a beer after work. And I suddenly had this fantasy about how nice it would be to have a cold beer on a hot day and watch a baseball game. And I thought, well, I deserve to treat myself to a beer and a baseball game after all the hard work I've done. And I thought that since I'd already been sober for three months, I had some control over my drinking. So I decided to go out and have a beer as a reward. And one led to five and five led to 50. And well, you know, here I am. These people knew exactly where their problem came from. They knew exactly what maintained their problem. And yet they continued to drink. Insight into the origin and the operation of the problem was insufficient. And I saw this play out over and over and over again. It was boggling. On the other hand, some guys would come in and I'd ask them about their drinking and they'd say, yeah, I don't know, it just didn't make me feel good, so I decided to stop. That's it. These guys didn't know why, they didn't know how, but they managed to work toward a solution. And while it's a bit of an oversimplification, I think we can all agree that not drinking is kind of an important component to addressing one's alcoholism. This is generalizable. In the absence of insight, you can solve a problem by changing your behavior. You don't have to even understand why it works. And this is good because, spoiler alert, no one really knows anyway. At the end of the day, all the insight in the world does not translate into an ounce of action. And it's action, taking a different path at the crossroads of our lives that actually solves problems. We don't have to know where the problem comes from. We don't have to know how the problem operates. Sometimes, we just have to make a different choice. Hopefully that makes sense. What do you think? Please let me know in the comments below, and thank you for listening.